what chance has the register got? We asked 50 people if they'd heard of the scheme. I haven't, no, I'm afraid. Yes, I have heard of it, but I don't know much about it. Is that something different from having a, carrying a kidney down a card? I don't know. I've got a donor card. Is that the same sort of thing? I could hazard a guess at what it was, but I haven't heard of it. I haven't, no. No, I haven't. Leaflets in the doctor's surgeries, isn't it? Yeah, she says. <laughs> question. <laughs> Only 14 of the 50 people we spoke to in Birmingham had heard of the register, although the Department of Health has already spent more than a million pounds advertising it. They are planning more publicity, but in the meantime, we're spreading the word. If you want to register, ring 0800 555 7. I've had a donor card for nearly 20 years, but I don't always carry it. It seems to me the register is a far better idea. Alice. A huge response to our item on tuberculosis, many more recent cases and thank you to all the people who called to point out that in our report we referred to tuberculosis as a virus. Sorry, we got it wrong, it's not a virus, it's a bacterial infection. Totally preventable and totally curable. Information on TB and all the items in our series are in our health check booklet. It will be available at the end of the series but you can send a check or post order now for £1.50 made payable to BBC Education. The address is Watchdog Health Check, PO Box 7, London W5 2GQ. We've had lots of calls tonight, one about human guinea pigs for drugs trials. Student from Bristol is interested in taking part for money, wants to know how safe it is. We suggest he contacts the British Medical Association. And a caller from the West Midlands who's very concerned about the lack of regulation in the counselling and therapy industry. She had a bad experience and cannot make a complaint to any professional body. And it's Pharmacy Awareness Week. Don't forget the pharmacists will give you information about non-prescription drugs. They want to encourage customers to ask more questions about the medicines and pills they're buying. Judith. Next week, private medical insurance. Don't miss the health check guide to choosing a policy. And pets on prescription. Up you come. Up, one. Up you go. Up you go. How caring for an animal may be the best medicine of all. Plus an alarming report on teenage depression. Why are so many adolescent boys committing suicide? The phones are open until 9pm. After that, you can leave a message on our answer phone or write to us at the address given at the end of the programme. There are more details on all of tonight's reports on CFAX page 619. Thank you very much for watching. Do join us again next week. Good health and good night. The lives and loves of the EastEnders, next on BBC One.